Hello, how are you today? It's 7 a.m. I think it's Thursday and I think well it's the 14th or the 15th too cause every day is Sunday when you're retired isn't it? Anyway, yesterday I, I took my oh look the garage is empty I took my car to the body shop uh, there's a couple of repairs need doing on the on the bodywork and uh, I'll take it in and I'll be without it for about a week and then I had a phone call from a, a, a Thai friend who's an American American Asian who lives locally and uh, he invited me for lunch along with one of my other friends Valdis who lives locally Valdis is from Lithuania I've got a right League of Nations around here and so we went for lunch Valdis picked me up and then uh, we went for lunch at Kevin's and we had a, a fabulous lunch and loads of beer and then we had Kevin had ordered pizzas in so we had pizzas from the local pizza place which is owned by another American Matt so it was absolutely fab really got back played a bit of pool with May and uh, had another couple of beers and woke up at five o'clock this morning answered a few comments on the channel now then one comment quite a few comments being a little bit derogatory about the Thai bar girls I'm not having this I'm just not having it at all and I'll tell you why I in my younger days in my mid to late 40s I was coming here holidaying down at, at Pattaya and we played golf every day and then every night we were enjoying the bar scene a few beers and it would always end up with a girl and um, I have met some of the most fantastic girls here I'm not talking about fantastic looking, which some, a lot of them are beautiful. I'm not talking about fantastic bodies, a lot of them have got stunning bodies. I'm talking about fantastic human beings. I, I, I was with this, this one girl, her name was uh, Duan, which I think means moon. She was from Isan. A cute little thing. She was in her early 20s. I would be in my mid 40s and I was staying here for about three weeks and I, I took her from the bar every night for three weeks and uh, she was a smashing girl but my friend who lives down there it, it stayed on and the day that I went home uh, my friend had gone to the bar and he said Duane was dressed down she was dressed down, she didn't want to be taken from the bar. She was happy just to serve drinks at the bar and chat to people, but not go out. Because I was coming back in in three months time. So she effecti effectively, she waited for me for, for three months and I came back and I took up with her again and, and I had her for another two or three weeks. I realized it wasn't going anywhere uh, and it wasn't going to go anywhere. She was a great girl. A lovely genuine caring girl and I know she would have looked after me for the rest of my days but it it just wasn't going anywhere so I ended it she was very upset and but what can you do if the spark isn't there it isn't there is it is it I've met you know people uh, I said on the first video about Thailand People say, oh, you know, I mean, there's comments have been like, oh, you got to do the three-day rule. To keep them for no more than three days and then get shut and get another one. Well, that's exactly what my number one Jack did. And he's now, in, he's now 74 on his own and uh, miserable as sin. And nobody to look after him, nobody to talk to, nobody to care for him, nobody to share a laugh with. You know, um, that, that was his choice. The girls who work the bars, they, I used to have an office in the centre of Manchester 
and going home at night through rush hour was a nightmare but obviously working in manchester all day every day on on property i knew all the shortcuts to avoid the traffic and i used to do a, a rat run through the red light district at the back of piccadilly rat run through that I could cut out all of the traffic and jump on the mancunian way regent road and get onto the motor and get home well when i was leaving work at 5 to 5 30 particularly in winter as it's, go, as it's gone dark the the girls of the night are coming out on the streets at, at manchester my god almighty you wouldn't even fight them never mind anything else but they were on the probably the majority of them feeding drug habits you know selling themselves to feed drug habits now the girls who go down to work in the sex industry in thailand they go down there primarily for one thing and the one thing they go down there for is to send money home to support their families because thai women thai girls have got this inbuilt determination they must look after the families they've got to look after at all costs the family comes first you know now so they go down there sell the bodies and they and they send i'll bet you 95 percent of that money goes home you know they, li they live in a, a little room there might be 20 girls living in that room but they turn out impeccable every night you know the lucky ones find somebody who marry them take them away blah 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 the divorce laws have changed in thailand the, it's no longer the fact where the frank can lose everything because uh, he buys the house it goes in her name they split up and the, he's he's left with nothing but that's not the case now in thailand if you can prove you've put the money in you can take the money out and you will get a minimum of a half sometimes a lot more but that's for a, that's for thai divorce lawyers not for somebody like me barrack room lawyer comments on like for example oh you can't own property in thailand bollocks that's not strictly true because what brian builds the most fantastic houses around chambury the, the pataya uh, region and uh, some of the houses that brian builds are, are 15 20 million baht palaces you know well they're not owned by uh thai guys flags don't go there buy one of those and put it in the girl's name did they did they nod they put it in a company name and you need to speak to a lawyer or an thai accountant or somebody like brian doing this all the time and, and guide can guide you through this so you're not at risk the other thing is that they're just they're just changing or have changed the law on companies were in chiang in the chiang mai region and in the pattaya region those two regions for can can own 100 percent of the shares in the company so you could you could start a thai company for doing whatever business you want to do in thailand put your property into it whatever you want and you own 100 percent of it so please don't give me this you know like it used to be five ten fifteen years ago because it's changed thailand is is a thailand is a land that's growing up i've got a mate who's just leaving the philippines to come here because he's sick of the filipino officials having their hand in his pocket taking his money out you know bribery and corruption but again that's a matter for him so don't give me this Thai, all Thai girls are bad gold diggers yes by and large if an Asian girl Filipino Cambodian Thai Vietnamese Burmese Indonesian if, if one, one of those girls a poor normal girl from a from a say an agricultural background like this if they take up with a phalang then the, the word that, that springs to mind is jackpot because a phalang will catapult them out of the poverty and into a different lifestyle you know so you know it, it's 
and and the other thing is the other th the other realistic thing is you know when i met may 22 years ago you know i had a full head of her and i certainly didn't have a fat stomach so we change as much as they change and sometimes a, 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 an asian lady will take up with you and, and she's bought into something that, that after a little while it's apparent that you are not what she thought you were so it's not always not always the girl's fault just like it's not always the man's fault looks odd doesn't it looks like a pension with no teeth in I've got a project on I've got to do this week project for the little boy so I just I just wanted to clear this up you know I wanted to clear this up this misnomer that that the bar girls are bad they're not there's there's many wonderful bar girls many fantastic girls you've just got to find the right one you know and if you're 70 and you take up with an 18 year old bar girl and she leaves you after a couple of years well at the time says some numb now what do you expect you know I don't bother with the girls when I go down there but if I did if I if I if I went down and I, I could pick up a, an 18 19 21 year old girl if I, if down there but what what the hell does she want with an old man like me well she wants the coin oh May's, May's all wrapped up she's going fishing the river's up a little bit because it must have been raining in the mountains and she's um, taking her lift nets down to the river for a day's fishing She'll probably come back with a few kilos of fish tonight. Anyway, we'll, we'll love you and leave you. Bye-bye for now.